when we get these projects, a lot of the times they're looking to update their facility but necessarily don't have the full amount of funds. So they ask us to provide these designs and construction documents so that way they can present this to a board and potentially get a grant. So with Cornerstone, um, it was a lot of Gothic Revival, 1920s. Um, so we had to keep that style throughout the building. Um, so when we originally visited, many of the floors had that style and some did not. We visit the site and we kind of walk around and see the spaces that we're using as well as other spaces to make the whole building cohesive. And then we also do a lot of observation of the people in the building. So um, we want to know what their day-to-day -day activities are, um, what types of things they're doing so we can provide for them what they need. Cornerstone was a lot of 1920s, so the biggest challenge was working with historical stuff, so we had to make sure that we weren't getting rid of stuff, something that was historic and original to the building. We really tried to keep the materials and like the original characteristics of the building as true as possible. We split up into different groups and we were redesigning all of their bathrooms. Right now they're really small and they wanted to make them bigger so they could be male and female restrooms. So each team was giving two restrooms so we kind of split it up and then their third floor mezzanine needs to be completely redone. After the design development, then we do construction documents. There's a lot of little things that a lot of people don't think about. like. If you have like quarter inch tile that's meeting up with carpet that's like a half an inch thick, how are those going to come together? And in the construction document phase, that's where we take all of these ideas and these plans and these things and make sure they work together. We get all that done, finalize, we print presentation boards, we print our construction documents, and then we meet with the client. For the final presentation, what we do is we show them what we're actually going to do. It's all a proposal, but it gives them an idea of, okay, this is what the space is actually going to look like. We just want them to have an idea of what's going to go on and how it's going to work and how the space could look because um, just from talking to them about it, it's hard to give them an understanding of how it's going to look, but once you like get it in presentation form and have renderings and elevations, floor plans, you give them like different aspects of the newly constructed area and gives them a better understanding of how it could look. This was a fantastic process for us. Cornerstone Center for the Arts is very excited that we have expanded into our third floor and our third floor mezzanine and this is a perfect opportunity for us to utilize the resources of Ball State's campus and the unique ideas of the students to see how we can best uh, maximize this space.